Well, Bill O'Leary, um, attorney from Legacy Planning Law Group, Estate Planning and Elder Law. And uh, I'm going uh, live today. And as part of our weekly series, we call our Thirsty Thursday series, where I talk about a different um, issue, topic, um, you know, thing I've seen in my practice and so forth and share it with you. So if you're thirsting for knowledge, as I like to start off all of these videos, you've come to the right place. Uh, so I'll, what I want to talk about today is it, it, it's sort of an, um, uh, a warning. Be cautious of what's called generic healthcare proxy forms. Be, be careful about them. Look, doctors and nurses and hospital staff, they work hard uh, to care for their patients when they're sick or hurt. Makes sense, right? However, um, even when a procedure is done to save a patient's life, a hospital cannot act without patient consent. And if the patient can't speak for uh, themselves and, and, and they can't express their wishes, the hospital well, is going to rely on what's known as a health care proxy form, also known as a health care power of attorney, maybe a health care surrogate designation. But I'm going to use the term health care proxy for this talk. So if you've ever been admitted to the hospital, your uh, chances are that you've been asked to sign a health care proxy form. And these forms, what they do is they obtain that consent in advance, in advance, and they get it from patients in case the patient becomes incapacitated and medical professionals need to, let's say, maybe administer med uh, medication, uh, do other things, maybe perform surgery, uh, other forms of treatment. However, the generic version that's used by most hospitals, here's the warning, it can fall short for many patients and may, frankly, infringe on their privacy and autonomy. So always be cautious when you sign a boilerplate document. So first, let me uh, sort of uh, talk about what is a healthcare proxy. A healthcare proxy, it's a form, it's a legal form that a patient uses to name what's called an agent uh, who will carry out their wishes regarding the medical care. And even if the patient can't speak for themselves, you see, that's the real benefit. Having a healthcare proxy uh, that is specifically tailored to your needs can be important. So for example, you can decide and sort of lay out what kind of treatment you want or maybe that you don't want if you become terminally, terminally ill, let's say you're in a coma, can't speak for yourself. And at the same time, you can also indicate other important wishes like, um, do you want pain medication uh, given? Do you want your organs donated when you die? Those sorts of things can be laid out. Now, an agent only has the power to make the decisions on the patient's behalf once a doctor confirms that the patient needs medical attention but can't sort of speak or advocate, if you will, for themselves. The agent's power ends when the patient can once again state uh, or express their treatment preferences. So appointing um, uh, an agent is important if you can't do so. Also important, name a backup or an alternate agent in case that first agent you name can't do it for whatever reason. Now, so what's the problem with signing a generic or boilerplate um, a healthcare proxy? A healthcare proxy is important because it instructs your agent to speak for you and if it's well written, it's going to give specific instructions about what sort of medical treatments you want and what treatments you don't want. Look, an estate plan is not complete unless it includes a well put together healthcare proxy form. And the problem with relying on those generic sort of hospital uh, healthcare forms, uh, proxy forms, uh, is that these forms often will not take into account your individual wishes. So let's say every person treated at the emergency room or let's say admitted to the hospital, uh, if they, you know, uh, they may end up signing the same healthcare proxy form if that's all they have. So it becomes sort of cookie cutter for everybody. And anything that could have a life or death consequence, it really should not be put into a generic form, but it should be specifically tailored to your particular needs and your particular wishes. If you have a health care proxy form, inform the hospital staff so that they can make that document a part of your medical record and your specifically tailored uh, proxy form will be used instead of the hospital's generic form. So how can you complete your own health care proxy form? Again, it's part of a, a, of a well put together estate plan. And if you've not created your estate plan 
or not put together uh, a healthcare proxy form, talk to your attorney and we'd be happy to help. So if you'd like to know a little bit more about healthcare proxy forms and the importance of having one that's tailored to your specific uh, wishes and maybe how uh, we'd like to help, we'd love to talk to you. So what we always do is invite you to take a sort of an initial baby step. Uh, have a 15-minute phone call. It's free. A, a called our discovery phone call uh, to sort of get the process and the conversation started. And scheduling could not be any easier. Just go to our website, select the, um, the uh, book your free call uh, button, takes you to our uh, scheduling calendar. The website's LegacyPlanningLawGroup.com. And so go ahead and select a time. We'll jump on the call uh, at the time that you select. Again, that's complimentary. So uh, if you have enjoyed this video, I would ask that you like or uh, better yet, share it with your friends just trying to get the word out. And I would also invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Legacy Planning Law Group, where we have more and more videos we're putting up every month um, and uh, really getting great uh, feedback and response from that. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed this talk about uh, healthcare proxy forms and the dangers of using the generic ones that they give you at the hospital. I'm going to give another talk next Thursday at about the same time. Again, part of the Thirsty Thursday series. So as I like to close all of these, if you're thirsting for knowledge, we will quench your thirst. So Bill O'Leary, uh, signing off for now on behalf of everybody here at my office and, uh, uh, and the firm. We call ourselves Team Legacy. Go make it a great day and a better world.